What's up, YouTube? Big Face Trucker coming to you real quick. What you're looking at right now is a plastic intake to a uh, uh, Chevy Silverado. Um, it's a 5.3. And uh, usually these plastic intakes, they get hot and they start to melt and everything. But there's a long story to this, to this uh, problem. This is an old customer of mine, and when I got into trucking, I didn't do no more work, all right? I didn't work on cars no more, I didn't shut the business down, and so she's been going through a problem, and this is a lesson to be learned, all right? So, <clears throat> to them ladies that's not mechanically inclined or, you know, having a problem with their car, don't go... And pick those mechanics up that at hanging out at the auto report store or whatever. Because she ran into a problem before the whole issue was. She had an over leak. I mean, she had an overheating problem, which was um, water getting into the cylinder. Now, it could have been either or. It could have been the head gasket or it could have been the intake gasket. All right, that intake manifold. So I replace, I'm replacing the intake manifold, but at the same time, I'm looking at the intake manifold and I see a little wetness. All right, <clears throat> flip this around. For you. I see a little wetness on on uh, this gasket right here in the back, right there. And when I did a pressure test, yes, I got some water leaking out, but I should have jack the truck up and actually look in the back of the motor and see where it's look leaking at now i could still do that and still s figure out the trail but what i'm looking at right now is see this line right here this line going back here well i'm looking at this over here right here that goes in here. you see the whiteness around it that looks like it's antifreeze right there, uh, being born, being, you know, heated up, or either uh, that stuff called Blue Devil that they put in these engines, try to seal, fix the problem, mechanic in a bottle. But what happened to this lady? She decided she needed a tune-up. Some mechanic said, "Oh, you need a, a tune-up," and uh, they wind up breaking the spark plug in the head. All right. So they broke the spark plug in the head. Now the head has to come off and get drilled out. Now, usually when somebody brings it to me like that, I will probably easy out, you know, drill the center of the spark plug out. All right. Easy it out. All right. Then I'll stick a magnet down in there to get all the bits out of there as much as possible. And I will crank the engine by hand. And I have a... a <clears throat> Like a, 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 not a stethoscope, but like a, um, like, like a little camera that I can stick down in there and see if any bits in there that's going to mess up the cylinder walls. That's how I would have did it and, and got out of it. I did that plenty of times and, and, uh, made it happen instead of taking off the head and sell, saving the customer money. But this guy broke it off. And so now the head needed to be replaced. Now, I could have sworn it was on this side, but it's on this side. You see the newer head over there, the shininess, and the old head over there? Well, he should have did both head, head gaskets on both sides. All right? And right now, I'm debating whether I should uh, fix that back leak right there, or should I just go into the engine and put new head gaskets on it and be done with it, you know? Uh, I could be doubling my work if I decide just to fix over there and see if that's leaking. Or I can, uh, you know, go back into the engine. But she had this car, been, this, this truck been down for probably, uh, I'd say a good three years. Just for a problem like that. came It, it just got escalated by her messing with these uh, bullshit ass mechanics. So she learned a lesson, so she decided to try to talk me into doing this, and she talked me into doing it, and she towed the car here. Uh, this truck been in my backyard probably a good year, all right? 
And I told her, I said, look, you know, you can let it sit there, but I can't work on it. I'm busy doing trucking. So now that the pandemic came through, so I have some time. So I talk to her and see if uh, she wants to get it repaired. You know, it's extra money. It's a good job. It's like uh, running down to Florida and coming back. <laughs> so um, that's what I'm doing while I'm at home. I figured I'd somehow stay busy. I hope I don't get the uh, fever and want to work on some more shit. You know, but that's what's going on. Plastic intake to... 5.3 Silverado Chevy engine. Um, you know, the case that I was getting, I was getting white smoke out the back of the engine. And so I'm going to replace this. But from looking at the intake, it looks like there's no water channels in there. But uh, sometimes that doesn't matter. So um, I'm going to check it out and see, you know see what's going on with this engine and basically you can probably look in these uh intakes right here and look and see if any water's been in there it's like you know it's it's really cleared up or if it's clean but that head should be clean over there uh so that's what i'm doing other than that i hope everybody's being safe out there and uh uh this intake right here i came out here just to prep the engine you see it got my trays around the engine and everything um just to prep it and i was gonna go in it tomorrow and knock it out and uh somehow i just kept doing a little bit a little bit of stuff here and there and next thing you know 40 minutes later the end takes off so i can look down in this engine now it's a good chance that i can do a compression check the way it is and I have to disconnect the uh, fuel pump. Do a compression check. And just see if, the, if it changes in uh, each cylinder. And mainly I'm, I'm so con con uh, concerned about the rear, uh, the rear spark plug there. Uh, and also I'm concerned about this, that edge down there. You see that edge right here, right down there. You see that the guy didn't really clean it up. So I'm concerned about that. I'm thinking that he put some blue devil in here. And uh, it was leaking out the edge. So it, it's a good possibility. I'm going to have to snatch that head off and uh, take all this stuff off right here. Which, you know, I wasn't really wanted to do all of this. But I ain't doing nothing. I might as well do something make some money you know but yeah quick little video i figured i'd just let y'all know what i'm doing uh i'm looking at the rates every day so that ain't change you know so it is what it is but this has nothing to do with trucking it's just my journey and what i'm doing so it is what it is they're gonna beast right there all right it's just chilling. Yeah, but uh, the money maker. So we'll figure it out. Now, see, I'm looking over here. If you see the whiteness in that, uh, in them intakes right there, that's water. All right. So I'll I will check this out and see how see what's really happening and what's going on with it and get deeper into it. And I might get back to you on it. Mm -hmm. Or I'll get back to you with me driving it. All right, Big Face Truck is signing off. Everybody be safe out there. Peace.